Welcome back to the Filmic channel. We're excited to announce that with the release of Filmic Pro V7.5 on both iOS and Android, Filmic Remote is now integrated directly into Filmic Pro for the best possible remote control and monitoring experience on mobile. This means that Remote is no longer a separate app and is now part of your existing Filmic Pro V7 subscription. It's been fully updated to match the V7 interface and includes a major upgrade to the streaming protocol, with both platforms now using WebRTC for the best possible quality and lowest latency when paired over Wi-Fi, as well as including brand new functionality. In this video, you'll learn how to get up and running with Filmic Remote so that you can control a second device wirelessly. To use Filmic Remote, you will just need Filmic Pro V7.5 installed on at least two devices. One to act as your satellite camera that is capturing your footage, and another to act as the remote control device running Filmic Remote. First, ensure that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network under your system settings. Next, launch Filmic Pro V7 on both your devices. Configuring Filmic Remote can be completed under the Settings, Device menu by enabling Filmic Remote. Alternatively, you can achieve the same results more quickly by using the Remote Quick Action Modal, which is by default mapped to a viewport button in the lower left of the interface next to the lens picker. If you have customized the button layout and replaced this button and would like to follow along with this tutorial, just long press on any viewport button to reveal the custom function picker and tap Reset to reset your button layout to defaults. It will now match mine. Now that Filmic Remote has been integrated into Filmic Pro V7, the concept of device roles is at the heart of the new remote experience. When you tap the remote quick action modal, it will start by asking you to define what your device role is as it pertains to Filmic Remote. The remote control role will launch the Filmic Remote camera connection screen on your device allowing you to discover and connect to available satellite cameras. Once connected to a satellite camera, you can either take full remote control over the device or monitor a clean feed. Assuming the remote control role simply launches Filmic Remote within Filmic Pro. Whereas the satellite camera role makes your device available to another device acting as a remote control device and you have the option to specify whether your satellite camera is available for full remote control or for monitoring only without control capabilities. For this simple two camera setup, my iPhone 14 Pro will be the satellite camera as it has the best camera and my iPhone 13 Pro Max will act as the remote control device due to its larger size screen. So on my iPhone 14 Pro, I'll open the remote cam and set the device role to satellite camera. This opens the Filmic Remote settings for us and our role has automatically been set to satellite camera. Next, I need to choose what my satellite camera is available for, control or monitor only. Control will allow another device acting as Filmic Remote to take full control over my camera. It can adjust settings and initiate recordings. Monitor only will provide a clean feed to the remote control device, but not allow them to make any changes or initiate a recording. I'm going to make my satellite camera available for control. And lastly, we can rename our camera as it appears to Filmic Remote by tapping the camera name field, and I'll give it a more descriptive name, then tap save. Next, let's configure our remote control device by switching to the 13 Pro Max. I'll tap the remote cam and select remote control. This instantly launches the Filmic Remote connection screen, and here you will see all available satellite cameras on your network. As you can see, there's just one, and it displays the device name we entered just a moment ago. Before tapping to connect to it, let's tap the Settings button to quick launch our Filmic Remote settings. As you can see, our device role is set to Remote Control. Beneath this, we can choose whether our stream is optimized for latency or quality. I'm going to select Latency. This will slightly reduce the preview quality, but offer near real-time monitoring and control. From here, I can tap the Connect button to relaunch the Filmic Remote Connection screen and tap to connect to my satellite camera. This will then launch a prompt on the satellite camera requesting permission for the connection. You can choose how long access is granted automatically for before requiring approval again. I'll choose 24 hours and accept the connection request. 
Now we have a successful connection and my satellite camera is under the control of Filmic Remote. The remote control device has the full Filmic Pro V7 UI providing access to the entire feature suite, whereas the satellite camera UI is removed and instead there is a banner letting you know your device is under the control of Filmic Remote. From Filmic Remote, I can now monitor my satellite camera feed and access the various focus and exposure modes available. I can also access my ISO, shutter speed and white balance cams from the action slider. I even have full access to the live analytics suite, allowing me to use visualization tools to gauge my focus and exposure. And I can open the settings menu and configure my resolution, capture format and dozens of other key shooting settings which are instantly propagated to the satellite camera. In fact, it's virtually identical to using Filmic Pro V7 with two exceptions. Firstly, the record button displays a Wi-Fi icon within it, letting you know that you're using Filmic Remote to control a satellite camera. And secondly, the remote cam provides a remote control device specific presentation with additional functionality. If I tap it in the viewport, you can see that you get access to two remote control modes, Control or Director. Control will display the full UI and allow you to make changes and initiate recordings. Director mode will display a clean feed and remove the ability to make any changes. This is great if you want to hand your remote control device to a director to review the framing or an actor on set to monitor the shot, but you don't want to risk having them make any changes. In director mode, the only button on screen is the remote control cam. To return to control mode, just tap it and select control. In addition to choosing your mode, you can also see the name of the satellite camera you're currently connected to, as well as a disconnect button. Tapping this will allow you to disconnect from a satellite camera and return to the Filmic remote connection screen. From here, you can connect to another camera or tap the X to close Filmic remote and return to using Filmic Pro V7, capturing locally on your device. So that's how simple it is to use the all new Filmic Remote, which is now integrated into Filmic Pro V7. Wireless remote camera control opens up so many creative possibilities for filmmakers, whether it's placing your satellite camera in hard to reach locations, or ensuring your home Studio A cam is perfectly composed and exposed or being able to pull focus smoothly from a second device, the potential is unlimited. Please let us know what you think of the new remote experience in the comments below. And of course, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more.